watch what happens when I give him a command. Any requests? Make him clap his hands. Uh, stick out his tongue. And cross his arms. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. With this keyboard, we can virtually control his every movement. But that's not all. We've put in a little something extra. An automatic defense program. He just looks scared shitless to me. He is. He's trapped. Watch what happens when the robot touches him. Wow. He's hooked up to my rage response activator. It switches on automatically whenever the monkey's hide is touched by anything or anyone. My God, his heart rate. His brain waves are going right through the ceiling. Can you shut it off? Yeah, I can with this remote keyboard, but I don't have to. What? Once the threat has been destroyed, the rage response activator shuts off automatically. And Super Monkey turns back into mild-mannered Clark Kent. <sighs> Is that all the juice we can get out of that rage thing? Seems to have done the job. Let's see what happens when he's really provoked. to it. Carl, what's wrong? What's wrong is Alex White. He cut my budget again without any explanation. And he took three of my prototype chips before I had the chance to test them. And every time I try to talk to him about it, he avoids me or he comes up with some kind of stupid excuse. I don't know what's wrong with that man. You know, any lab in the country would be happy to have you. Yeah, well, I'm going in there tomorrow morning, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. Good. <laughs> hey. How are we doing? Fine. Yeah? You want to try for twins? Yeah. You, Alex. Alex, I tried to stop him. I'll call security. Hey, it's okay, Scotty. Uh, security's for spies. Carl's on our side, remember? It's okay. Yes, sir. Well, sometimes she takes me a little too literally. I'm afraid I have to trade her in for a newer model. I want some answers, Alex, or I'm gonna blow the whistle on you. In the last two months, $1.6 million has been slashed from my silicon project. Alex, I'm that close to finishing. I need that money. Now, something's going on here, and you're deliberately keeping me in the dark about it, and I don't like that. That money's being used for research that will 
revolutionize Cut science. the bullshit, Alex. I've heard all this before. I don't trust you. Now you're going to tell me everything that's going on right now or I'm going to bust this thing wide open. Less than two days. Just give me two days and I'll tell you everything we got. You're going to be very excited about what's going on here and you're going to be a big part of it. <laughs> I'll be back in two days. Think it's time out? You got me. I'm impressed. You're gonna be a daddy, yay! <laughs> Congratulations, Lauren told me. Thanks, Bert. <laughs> Feels great. Yeah. You gotta promise me one thing, though. If you ever get tired of your family, you'll give them to me. Hey, they're yours. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee. I'll get it. It's my turn. No way. You shouldn't be moving around too much. Wake up out there. Something's getting hot. Hey, Bellman, Samson, you guys out there? He was a terrific friend. Bullshit. It looks pretty good so far. The uh, vital functions are stable. You mean that thing's alive? Well, that would depend on your definition of the word life. We are preserving the brain in an oxygenating solution. 
Uh, I know about that. Some sort of a, um, Japanese concoction, isn't it? That's the stuff. White blood. Jesus. Looks kind of creepy. What in the hell is it? Looks a bit like, um, you on a Monday morning, Simpson. Very funny. That's a terrible way to talk about your old colleague, Carl Lehman. What? Carl Lehman? What are you talking about, Carl Lehman? What we have here is a perfect opportunity. I don't know, Alex. This isn't some animal. Yeah, but we're ready. All of you have been working in your own specific fields and experiments which, if combined, could recreate human life. What do you mean a tank? That's not life. No, not a tank. Kessler's Mars landings. A living human brain and an indestructible mechanical body. With tremendous strength, thanks to Simpson's prosthetics. Well? Let's go for it. Right? Gail? I cannot emphasize enough the need for secrecy. Therefore, from now on, our experiment will be known as Project Frankenstein. And you should have thought of that, Carl. You should have thought of us. Catherine, you scared the shit out of me. What the hell do you think you did to me? You always greet people at the door like this, Bert? Okay, tell them we got Lehman's files and try the place up to look like a burglar. Data analysis functions on standby. Environmental check. His body and organs are completely non-functional. But with the suit's onboard computer, we can regulate the supply of oxygenating fluid to his brain. His eyes were untouched. Thank God he was wearing goggles. We're ready, Doctor. Everything checks out. I'm going in. 
I'm going to insert the first electrode into his brain. By connecting his brain to the computer, he will be able to control the movements of the suit. His thoughts will be translated into action by the program. Readout. 0.045 millimeters in grid A5 of the occipital lobe. Increase the wash rate. I said increase the wash rate. EEG is low normal. Can you pick it up, Massey? Elapsed time, one hour and 25 minutes. It's done. We have a signal. His brain is communicating directly with the computer. Well, Dr. Frankenstein. Shall we turn him on? Any time, Igor. He's autonomous. I still don't understand why you connected the rage response activator to the computer. If he senses any kind of threat, he could turn into an uncontrollable killer. No. As long as I have the remote unit, it'll be my decision when to trigger the reaction. What's going on? I don't know. The signal's not getting through to its brain. The computer program works. I've checked it a hundred times. The suit is operational. Then why isn't he working? Huh? Fuck. Gail, tear him apart, break him down, and find out what the hell went wrong. Maybe the next time you overpay geniuses a hand at a golden opportunity like this, you won't fuck it up. Yes, master. Should I look for another body, master? Watch it, Kessler. It could be you. Shut up, the both of you. Okay, Carl. Let's see. Where are we screwed up? hear me? You've had an accident, Carl, but you're all right. I just want to put the remote unit back in the suit. I promise you, you'll feel a lot better once I get this back in you.
No, sir. No, sir. But a guy in a spacesuit shouldn't be too hard to find. One thing I don't understand, Mr. White, is why I'd want to steal it in the first place. Who knows? Has there been any traffic in around? No, uh, well, except for a garbage truck. Could he have gotten in the back of the truck? Well, I doubt it. I mean, with the crusher and the chemicals, he'd be dead by now. Keep looking. You see? I told you he'd work. I knew he'd work. He works. He works. But Gail's dead, and the fucking remote unit is still up in her lab. Christ, how do we control him? Sloppy. Very sloppy. What are we supposed to do now? He's not inside the building. It's got to be that garbage truck. All right, listen, we've got to find him fast. If someone touches him, anyone, his onboard computer will take over. And he'll kill. Shit. 
Get your ass on your turkey! There he is. I see him. Where do you think you're going? Holy shit, man. Drink a fucking tree. He looks like a silver fucking surfer, man. Yeah, after he ran into the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, well, this jerk off just went to his last costume party. Hey! What the hell? Come on, you fucker. Please. Hey, hey. Please. I, I, I didn't do nothing. Please. Let's get out of here. Right, go. Come on, Kessler, let's go. He must still be around. How can we stop him? Well, you made the goddamn suit. Yeah, but it was supposed to land on fucking Mars, not in some Christ-forsaken alley. We should never have used him for the experiment. We should have just finished him off the way we planned it. But you, you had to play God. Where the hell would he go? Who knows? Maybe he went home. I tell White. No, don't. Stay away from White. He's made me a killer. How do I know this isn't a sick joke? Please tell Mert. And don't do it, you dally. Carl. There is nothing to connect Ark to those kids, but just in case I sent Brian down to the Herald to keep an eye on things. Okay, good. What about Chief Dory? Well, he'll think it's one of those uh, street gang things. Alex, I just don't understand. I don't understand how Carl could have killed those kids. What made him do it? Oh, son of a bitch! What's 
See, See, I attack you, you get angry. But your mind and your body respond on a rational level. You just touch Carl and he kills. But why? His onboard computers perceive a threat. The rage response mechanism takes over and it removes the threat. Carl has no control over it. Your organic computer responds, but your mind controls it. It's like a safety valve. Carl's safety valve is the remote unit that's unattached. Oh, my God. Why, Alex? Why would you take such a risk? You have so much to lose. <sighs> Maybe, but if I can control him, there's so much to gain. I think it's time we brought in Hunter. Not Hunter. I want Carl back, and Hunter is the only one I know who can do the job. You mind hurrying it up, Hunter? I'm getting a headache. Thank you for the lesson, Grandmaster Kwong. It's gonna cost you more this time, White. It already has. Enemy space vehicle spotted! Control! This is Starfighter 1! We've damaged his reflectors! I'm going to pursue! Surrender, Starfighter. Please don't hurt me. Who are you? I'm Claude Carl. Who are you? Starfighter Bobby Wilson. Are you from outer space? Um, yes. Do you know E.T.? Um, sure. Oh boy, I can show you where to hide. Don't come any closer. I may be contaminated by the Earth's atmosphere. You probably are. The air stinks down here. Follow me. There's this big pipe coming out of the ground. Uh-oh, they put a car in the way. Let me see what I can do. Look back. <laughs> Bert, I know it sounds crazy. No, no, it doesn't sound crazy. You're just a little upset, that's all. Yes, I'm upset, but it was Carl's voice. Bert, all I right. talked to him. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm going to show you something that might be very upsetting to you, but I think that you've got to see it. Our security cameras recorded the whole thing. Do you want me to go on? Yes.
doctrine. What the hell are you doing? He's back. Who's back, Catherine? You'll frighten his spirit. Stop it! Damn it, Catherine, I asked you not to do this. That's it. He's gone. You scared him away. Nice going, Lauren. And I was so close. I think I'll go take a shower. Kath, I spoke to Carl, not a ghost. I saw the accident today. It was horrible. What do you mean you saw the accident? White had it on videotape at his office. You saw White? I had to. Bert didn't believe me. He took me to White's office. I saw an autopsy report and a death certificate, both signed by Massey. That's him. Massey, Massey. I had a little talk with him. thinking to do. So, listen, why don't you get lost? Hey, come on. I waited all night for you here. I didn't tell you to wait. stuff and get out. Well, fuck you! What are you, some kind of hooker? No! I need cat fare! Yeah, well, I'm not the goddamn bank, honey, so take a bus. You make me puke! She's a lousy fuck anyway. Or you would have died. No. No, you killed me. I had to. White was blackmailing me. How do I stop the killing, Massey? How do I control it? It's the suit, Carl. It's the suit. It's the programming in the suit. Come with me. Come with me to Harkin. I can help you. How am I supposed to believe you? What the hell have you and White done to me? Stay away from me, Carl! 
Just tell me what I need to know. Don't come any closer. Come on. Don't come any closer. Don't be a fool, Nancy. <laughs> section of the sewer wide enough for a man to pass through. Okay, why well, I'm in your able unit. Richards, you'll take Baker and I'll head in through Charlie. Now Kessler is gonna monitor the system on ultrasound. Okay, Kessler, tell him about the suit. The uh, nutcase we're after is wearing a space suit. It's impervious to almost all outside penetration. These weapons were designed to release vaporized acid which we hope will penetrate the seals of the armor. This is the weak spot. It's where the life support umbilical was attached. This is Abel. We're heading for Central Hookup. Charlie's bigger here. No sign of him yet. Kessler here. Good luck. Over. Come on, guys. Let's get this over with. We have authorization, sweetheart. Right here. Some of your fellow workers have been bitten by rats that we think might be rabid. Now I suggest you clear the area until we finish exterminating. Shit. I'm out of here, lady. I'm gone. Christ. 
let's go back. Ah, shit! Ah, ah, ah. What the? What the hell's going on over there? Half the fucking city is fucking burning. Shut the hell up. Have you got anything yet? Negative. All right, Abel, Baker, this is Charlie Unit. Pack your bags, we're going home. All right, spaceman, let's take it nice and easy. That's it, spaceman. Take it nice and easy, and nobody will get hurt. put out the word that Ian Massey and his little lovebird eloped to Re on an extended honeymoon. Good. And Hunter's people, mm -hmm. they did a pretty good job of cleaning up the place. <gasps> Who do you think you're jerking around, White? Hello, Hunter. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Leave it alone. Put the gun down, Hunter. Screw you. I lost two of my best men. And your little friend Kessler is dead. With a manhole cover up his ass because you bullshitted me. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. What are you going to do, shoot me? Not until I know what's going on. That was no nutcase in a space suit. I want to know what the fuck you did to him. Well, I'm not quite sure. We never really had a chance to test him out. Well, I want to know everything you know, or I'm out. It operates by servo motors of significant yet undetermined strength. What do you mean, undetermined strength? Well, we're not quite sure. We could have used a thicker bar, but we would have had to build a stronger bench in order to anchor the mechanical arm. Well, congratulations. It looks like you guys have created one hell of a killing machine. And you made it virtually indestructible. A nice touch. Well, Hunter, I've never seen you like this before. Something you're afraid of. Anyone in their right mind would be afraid of it. But inside that suit, there's a man. And I've never, ever 
lost to a man. think they're still out there? They're out there. Then why don't we just put a stop to this nonsense and call the police? No, I don't want to jeopardize Carl. He knows he can find me here. Do you hear something? No. I did. Back earlier. It sounds like a voice, but playing at the wrong speed. With a baby about to be born, and Carl married to Lauren. They must avoid a family torn, so should meet at the church in Morn. Just turning south on L. I'm following. I hope you're in the mood for a nice, long, scenic drive. to get to Bert. Tell him to meet me tonight at the old art warehouse. Just do it, Lauren, and then leave this city immediately. I want you to get as far away as you can. Oh, my God. What's happened to you? Get away from me! Please, Carl. God damn it, I'm not Carl! I'm a machine. I, I can't feel. I can't touch. I'm not human. I love you. You can't. You can't love this. You gotta go see him. I know you didn't believe me before. But I've seen him. He's some kind of, um... Like a corpse. And he's in some kind of weird metal suit. Wait a minute. The guys at Ark are going nuts about some guy who stole the metallic spacesuit. That must be it. I'm sorry, Lauren. Oh, Bert. Oh, Bert, thank God you believe me. Thank you. Thank you for being such a good friend. I love you.
Carl? No offense, Bert, but I should have gone for the coffee. Oh, my God. You are alive, buddy. I need your help. I need some research data on White's secret project. You'll have to break his private access code. You think you can do that? Hey, I am the best code buster in the business. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the 3,000 free games at Zaxxon that tipped me off. How you doing? Hey, I'm indestructible. Listen, whatever else happens, promise me you'll look after Lauren. You know I'd do anything for her. Thanks, friend. Oh, uh, she gave me a letter. I know it's dangerous for me to come too close, so I'll just put it here on the floor, okay? Sure. I knew I could count on you. But be careful, all right? Sure, the resin set. Like a rock. All right, let's see what we got here. Spaceman delivered his promise. Okay. Move him out. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? I am just glad that this is all over. Well, not quite. There's one loose end you have to clear up for. What? Lauren Collins. Yeah? Get rid of her. You didn't say anything about that. That was not part of the deal. This is the deal, Bert. You're in this up to your ass. You like that shiny new job you got, huh? Yes, I like that job. You want to keep it? Yeah. Right, well, you do what you have to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, and Bert, I want to see you in my office, 9 o'clock tomorrow. You're late again with your reports. Hey, I've got a business to run around here, you know?
happened? I Did you see Carl? Was he there? Bert, what happened? He's dead. No. The suit failed, and he was almost dead when I got there. He asked me to take care of you. We gotta get out of here. I know a place where we can go where they'll never find us. And I'll be a good father to your child. What are you talking about? I love you. You're lying to me. Where is he, Bert? What happened to Carl? Bert, I trusted you. What have you done to him? You never really did care about me, did you? I was in on this whole thing from the very beginning because I love you. I want you to be with me. Screaming. Stop screaming. If you scream, I might hurt you and you'll lose your baby. Back to experiment on them. Go back! Lauren, you wouldn't shoot me. I would to save my child, not just keep moving, Bert. Apologizing for. If you want privacy, use the bedroom. Nobody will ever suspect foul play. 
Now take the bodies out to the car and I'll clean up in here. Will you make it look like an accident, not a massacre? Well, help me. Tell me what to do. I already have. Now, there's a big lake down there. Does that give you an idea? Lake. Now I know why people hire me to do this kind of work. Oh, no, not now. Not now. Nothing at the west gate. Uh-huh. Well, White just told me that if this weirdo shows up, just to open the gate and let him right through. What's he, crazy? We're the only guards left. He dismissed everyone inside. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm booking off sick. Where's your bimbo tonight, White? Taking care of business. Three fatal accidents and one person missing. Come on, Mrs. Scott. We're not stupid. What gives you? It's just a, a streak of bad luck, Lieutenant. Look, now these people work in a very high risk business, and each of these experiments could bring a catastrophe. Now, we've gone all these years without any mistakes, and then suddenly the law of averages catches up with us. Okay, Mrs. Scott. It's about time we had a little chat with your boss. Here we go. Welcome back, Carl. You've been away too long. You've caused us a lot of trouble, but I trust that's over now. Now you're gonna have to do exactly as we say or else. And here to tell you about or else is my associate hunter. Greetings, spaceman. We want you to go directly to Gail Vernon's lab. There you will find a remote control unit, which you will put back in the appropriate slot in your suit. Failure to do so will result in severe consequences for the mother of your child. Don't do it, Carl! They're gonna kill me anyway! Ah! Carl will 
never believe you'd let me go. She's probably right, you know, he's no fool. We've got the one bullet that can penetrate Frankenstein's armor. Well, I hope you know what you're doing, pal. Wait a minute, where is he? Uh, Sector G6. Yeah, that's data processing. He's headed this way. Hey, spaceman. I don't know what you're up to, but here's something I think you ought to hear. Okay, spaceman, you got 10 seconds to show your face on this screen. All right, it's time to do it my way. Don't panic. I want to dangle the bait just a little bit more. What do you mean? We're going to go to the lab. Once he sees my demonstration with his little mommy-to-be, he won't be able to resist. believe you. Woman! Ah! You know I missed on purpose, spaceman. Now let's all take a stroll down to Vernon's lab. No way, Hunter. And if you hurt her again, I'll kill you. Ah! Move it! I'm not moving. Get up or I'll blow your brains out right here. You sure she's worth your life, Hunter? about it. OK, I got another deal for you. All I want is out. Fuck White, you can have him. Now I'm going to go right by you. If I make it, you get the girl. If I don't, I'm going to take her with me. Deal? All right. OK, Mama, on your feet. I hear when someone touches you, you kill. Don't be stupid, Hunter. I'm giving you a chance. It seems like your man is avoiding you. Has the magic gone out of your relationship? You're dead, Hunter. All I want is you out of my way. And then you can have her. Here! Shit! win. Of course, I don't think you're going to be around long enough to enjoy your victory. Looks like you're down a couple of quarts. No way out, Hunter. Looks like the end of the line. Forget it, spaceman. <laughs> I've seen you in action. You make such a mess. Don't! Carl, I thought I couldn't touch you. I reprogrammed myself in the computer room. I don't have to kill anymore. <sighs> White's still in the building. I have to stop him. Stay right here.
Welcome to the future, Carl. Now that you're here, we can start the procedure and get things rolling. You're just a prototype. Wait till you see the new and improved model. Can't you see what we've accomplished, all of us? Anyone can be given a new life. And you'll push all the buttons, Alex? You want to play God, and I'm not going to let you do that. You can't stop me, Carl. Why romantic slobs like you insist on keeping us in the dark ages? Get back, Lauren. Put this remote unit in and I'll give you eternal life. This isn't life, Alex. You think it is because that's the way you treat life. I wouldn't spend a second in eternity with you. Goodbye, Carl.
SF-1 designed over five years ago by Art. The outer golden fabric was melted away during the initial heat resistance evaluation, which claimed the life of renowned aerospace scientist Dr. Carl Lehman. Uh, without any regard for his own safety, Dr. Lehman relentlessly tested the environmental capabilities of the SF-1, and thanks to his gallant efforts, NASA has been able to develop a material which has proven virtually impossible to burn. Next, we'll take a look at the actual suit worn by our first men on Mars. He was a hero, wasn't he, Mom? Yes, he was, Carl. Yes, he was. <laughs> 